Remember I told you this machine can TIG weld. It does not conf come configured to TIG weld, however there is a TIG weld adapter kit for it. And essentially what this adapter kit does is allow you to use the foot amp troll. Now, the way it comes, if you buy just the TIG torch, you can TIG weld with it, lift start TIG weld, but whatever you set the machine at is what you've got. You cannot change your heat setting middle of the weld. Most TIG welders prefer a foot amp troll unless you're doing something specialized. This machine allows you to add a foot amp troll, but you have to add this, this adapter plug. You have to plug it in, it comes pre-wired. It uh, looks like it's pretty straightforward to do. Some zippy ties and uh, a couple of screws. The machine's not plugged in, it's not powered up. It doesn't even have the plug in the back of it, so there's no power, we're, we're electrically dead. In the instructions, it shows that there's uh, eight screws, so we gotta remove those eight screws. They're all 5 sixteenths. And then the instructions will show you that there's a couple of more case screws. I believe they're around the sides that we need to remove. Yes, sir, and two on top. There's three right there. It's like two right here, right on the top. And the back will come off. And there's one small double prong connector. We'll just unplug that controls the cooling fan inside. Looks like two more five sixteenths right there in the front. And there we go. Voila. Put this in a safe place. Lincoln does give you a couple of, uh, looks like some inner shield, flux core wire, and a, possibly a small roll of uh, ER70 filler wire. Their color instructions, the quick start guide, uh, we'll save those. This is the side that our drive roll, our wire normally sits on, and it's gonna flip up like this, okay? So picture that your roll, spool of wire would sit there. There's a plug right here This plug is gonna go in that hole, just like that. Now, this is where the kind of the tricky trickiness comes in, uh, cause it is a bit to, to thread it up in there. And inside the machine, which it is pretty clear in the instructions, by the way, that come with it, there's a spot on the PC board for this plug to plug into. And then the ground wire grounds to the ground right here on the chassis. So that part's pretty easy. Probably the hardest thing is sneaking this little plug up in there. And that's not too terribly difficult. With the help of a long screwdriver, I was able to get this fitting, or this, this connector, which is the connector for the amp troll, through there. I'm just gonna put some screws in it. They send you, with the package, the correct hardware. A couple of little Phillips drive screws. Let's see if we can 
probably going to take a uh, screwdriver push it in from behind. It's ways up in there. Oh, I wouldn't get that lucky twice. Holes lined up perfectly. Bet I couldn't do that again if I tried. And they're just uh, like a sheet metal thread type screw. So they're just going to make their own threads. They're going to tap their own threads as they go into that soft aluminum housing. Okay, essentially that part of it's done. Really the only thing left is to connect the wiring harness. Just a plug-in type connection plugs right into the PC board. There are quite a few wires kind of in the way. You're going to have to play with that yourself and just fish it through. And that snaps right in there like that. There is a grounding post that is right here. They give you a couple of washers. Put one on the bottom, put the ring connector on, another flat washer per their instructions, a lock washer, and a nut. Once this is all tightened down, you're essentially done other than the quick reassembly. Now the ground is pretty important on pretty much any welding machine. Anytime you're dealing with high voltage, high current coils and fields that are building and collapsing, you can have all kinds of erroneous signals that run around, high frequency signals, uh, I don't know what else to call them. but So always make sure you connect that ground. That ground's real important to make sure everything works smoothly. Reassembly is pretty straightforward. Put this back together. There's a couple of screws. Not to over tighten. And now Simple connector to plug the fans, the dual fans back in. Did I mention I like the dual fans? Did I mention it's hot in Florida? Hence dual fans. Little squeezing and juke in there. get too crazy and get too much pressure on the case. I want to get these started here. There was two, two in the top. And there was three on this side. Forget the all too important screw that goes into the handle.
Okay, that's my foot amp troll off my Lincoln Pig machine that's over there. It's the same foot amp troll, so if you already have a Lincoln welder, chances are the amp troll you have will work on this machine. Um, luckily, I didn't have to buy another foot amp troll. But what it does, comes in and this cannon plug fits in here, screws in, we can close the panel. That gives us a foot amp troll for TIG welding. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed what you saw here today. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and like us on Facebook, please. Somewhere down below here is a link. See you soon.